A lot can change in football over the course of 10 years. Just ask Sunderland fans. 10 years ago, the Black Cats finished in the top half of the Premier League table, now they're trapped in League One. On the flip side, you have a team like Southampton, who were down in the doldrums of League One a decade ago, but are now comfortably mid-table in the Premier League, and, who knows, may be even capable of a shot at Europe this season. Or how about Zlatan Ibrahimovic? 10 years ago, he was scoring prolifically in Syria for AC Milan, and now... Well, okay, I guess not everything changes. Today's video idea comes courtesy of Johannes Norgard, who had the top comments on my recent 7 players who've had the most lone moves video. I'm assuming you're just Danish there, Johannes. Apologies if that's incorrect. Johannes asked if I could take a look at every Premier League team's oldest player, and then look back at where each of them was a decade ago. I can, and I will, so here is every Premier League team's oldest player, where were they 10 years ago? Arsenal. David Luiz. Chelsea. 10 years ago, perhaps even to this very day, if I managed to get this video uploaded on January 31st as planned, David Luiz had just signed for Chelsea from Benfica, for a fee of 25 million euros, meanwhile Nemanja Matic headed in the opposite direction at the end of the season as part of the deal. A bit of a madman of a centre-back who could switch from brilliant to catastrophic in the blink of an eye, there were times when Luiz looked better suited to playing in defence and midfield. He played his best football at Stamford Bridge, where he had two separate stints, under Antonio Conte in a back three. Louise joined Arsenal from Chelsea for just £5 million in the summer of 2019, and though he is only 33 years of age, Louise is Arsenal's most senior player. Aston Villa Tom Heaton, Cardiff City Goalkeepers tend to be able to play on a little longer than outfield players, so it won't surprise you to discover that there are six goalkeepers in this list. In fact, if anything, you might have imagined that figure would be a little higher. Tom Heaton is the oldest player at Aston Villa at this moment in time, age 34, a year older than the villain's next oldest player, Ahmed El Mohamedi. A graduate of the Manchester United Academy, Heaton rejected a contract offer from Sir Alex Ferguson in 2010 in pursuit of playing first-team football, and a decade ago, he was playing for Cardiff City in the Championship. Moves to Bristol City, Burnley, and eventually Aston Villa followed, and the oldest player at Villa Park has even won three caps for the England national team. Brighton and Hove Albion Adam Lallana Southampton Brighton have a fairly youthful squad, and I believe I'm right in saying that Adam Lallana is the youngest, oldest player at a Premier League team, if that makes any sense to you at all. Lallana has played for three different teams on the south coast of England, Southampton, Bournemouth, and Brighton and it was Southampton that the 32-year-old was starring for a decade ago. Lallana spent 14 years with the Saints, including his time in the academy, playing a pivotal role in their rise from League One to the Premier League, and captain in the club for a couple of years. He departed in 2014, spending six injury-plagued years at Liverpool, before linking up with Graham Potter last summer, and Lallana's repeated setbacks have been a real shame for an exceptionally gifted and intelligent footballer. Burnley Phil Bardsley, Sunderland. By far the oldest player to feature thus far, although that record won't last long, Burnley fullback Phil Bardsley is 35 years old. A Manchester United Academy graduate, just like Tom Heaton, Bardsley left Old Trafford in 2008 following five successive loan moves. He signed for Sunderland, where he spent six years, meaning that is where the former Scottish international was playing his club football 10 years ago. In 2014, Bardsley joined Stoke City, but he has been with Burnley since the summer of 2017, where the veteran right-back has made 66 appearances to date. Chelsea. Willy Caballero, Elche. I told you Bardsley's record wouldn't last long, and that's because the man up next, Willy Caballero, is the oldest active player in the entire Premier League. Retirement Home FC, or Chelsea as they are better known, have three players who would come out on top at a number of other clubs, namely Caballero, Thiago Silva, and Olivier Giroud. Caballero is by far the oldest of the trio, age 39, and he actually began his professional career during the same month in which Billy Gilmore was born. Even if I were to include Petr Cech, who has been registered by Chelsea on a non-contract basis as an emergency goalkeeper, Caballero would still take this one since Czech is only 38. Whilst Caballero is playing for Elche 10 years ago, he was also right on the cusp of signing for Malaga, a deal that was completed in February 2011. Crystal Palace, Gary Cahill, Bolton Wanderers There are a cluster of older heads at Selhurst Park, but none who are older nor more experienced than centre-back Gary Cahill. 
capped 61 times by England, Cale is best associated with Chelsea Football Club, where he spent seven seasons and formed a formidable centre-back partnership alongside John Terry. Cahill only joined the Blues in January 2012 though, a little over nine years ago, meaning he was still playing a pivotal role at Bolton Wanderers if we were to rewind an entire decade. Cahill spent four years at Bolton, jumping ship mid-season before the Trotters went down, and this six foot four inch 35 year old has been with Crystal Palace since the summer of 2019. Everton. Seamus Coleman, Everton. The only player in this entire video who is still with the same club now as they were 10 years ago, that fact only reiterates what we already know, that the Irishman has been a superb servant to Everton. Signed from Sligo Rovers in 2009 for a bottle of whiskey and five packs of Tato crisps, or £60,000 if you want to be pedantic, Coleman has gone on to register more than 300 appearances for the club. In his first season with the Toffees, Coleman spent half a season on low with Blackpool, helping the Tangerines win promotion to the Premier League via the playoffs. A decade ago, he was midway through his breakout campaign, and the 32-year-old is now due a testimonial. Fulham. Tim Ream, New York Red Bulls. From Ireland to America, Fulham's oldest player is 33-year-old centre-back Tim Ream. The Cottagers have long had something of a punch on for Americans, and Ream joined the club from Bolton Wanderers all the way back in 2015. A decade ago, Ream was already a full international with the USMNT, and one of the most highly thought of defenders in Major League Soccer. In his breakout campaign with the New York Red Bulls in 2010, Ream almost won the MLS Rookie of the Year award, and by 2012, he'd been snapped up for £2.5 million by then Premier League outfit Bolton Wanderers. Leeds United Pablo Hernandez, Valencia. The seventh oldest player to have appeared in the Premier League this season, Pablo Hernandez will turn 36 years old before the end of this season. A key man for Leeds in the Championship, Hernandez has registered 10 appearances this season, albeit he has only made two league starts. A native of the Valencian community, Hernandez came through the youth ranks at Valencia, but his dreams of starring for his Boyd club appear to have been dashed in 2007. The white man was sold to Catafe following just a solitary first team appearance, but he was re-signed by Valencia the following season, and he went on to play more than 100 games for the club. Hernandez later enjoyed stints at Swansea, Al Arabi, Al Nazir, and Rayo Vallecano before becoming a fan favourite at Ellen Road. Leicester City, Wes Morgan, Nottingham Forest. One of few Premier League players who are older than Pablo Hernandez, Wes Morgan is almost a year older than the Spaniard making him the fourth oldest player to have appeared in a Premier League fixture this season. The 37-year-old has only ever had two permanent clubs, both based in the Midlands. Born in Nottingham, Morgan came through the youth ranks at Nottingham Forest, the club he was at 10 years ago, where he made over 400 appearances in nine years at the city ground. Morgan swapped Leicester for semi, sort of, kind of, not really rivals Leicester City in January 2012, where he went on to lift both the Championship and the Premier League title as captain. The former Jamaican international has made over 300 appearances for the Foxes in total, but he has been a bit part player for the last season and a half. Liverpool, James Milner, Manchester City. No active footballer has made more appearances in the top flight of English football than James Milner, who made his Premier League debut for Leeds United over 18 years ago. Milner became the second youngest player to appear in English football's top flight during the Premier League era, although a fair few players have since leapfrogged him in those standings and he has gone on to rack up 61 caps for England, 549 appearances in the Premier League, and a whopping 756 appearances in all competitions. What's more, Milner shows few signs of letting up, and you wouldn't be at all surprised to see him go on for another three seasons at this level. Ten years ago, the Yorkshireman was halfway through the first of his five seasons with Manchester City, and the former Newcastle United and Aston Villa star has been with Liverpool since 2015. Manchester City Fernandinho Shakhtar Donetsk. Only the second club captain to feature in this video thus far, Fernandinho, inherited the captain's armband at the Etihad last summer following club legend David Silva's departure. Fernandinho is a man who has probably earned legendary status in the Northwest himself at this stage, now in his eighth season at the Etihad, and with more than 300 appearances for Man City under his belt. More than six months older than James Milner, Fernandinho really has aged like a fine wine and he remains one of the best defence midfielders on the planet, set to turn 36 before this season is even finished. Ten years ago, the Brazilian was busy being brilliant in Ukraine with Shakhtar Donetsk, where he spent eight seasons and made almost 300 appearances before arriving in the Premier League. 
Manchester United. Lee Grant. Burnley. I know what you're probably thinking, Manchester United fans. Oh, him. I forgot he even existed. That is a bit underwhelming. I'm afraid I can't shift the facts, and the fact is that Lee Grant is the oldest player at Old Trafford. But I will tell you that your second oldest player, and your oldest that actually plays, Edinson Cavani, was on loan at Napoli from Palermo 10 years ago in a deal that would later become a permanent one, just so that you don't feel shortchanged. Having just turned 38, Grant is now the third oldest player in the Premier League, or fourth if you include Petr Cech. Formerly of Derby County, Sheffield Wednesday, Burnley and Stoke City, I actually think Grant was a long underrated number one, but he's got about as much chance of playing for Manchester United these days as I do, given the plethora of more highly regarded goalkeepers at the club. It was Burnley that Grant was playing for 10 years ago in the Championship, and he went on to spend three seasons with the Clarets. Newcastle United, Andy Carroll, Liverpool. If, as I have already stated, I do manage to get this video uploaded on January 31st, it will be exactly 10 years ago to the day that Liverpool paid £35 million for Andy Carroll, and consequently dislocated the jaws of around 35 million football fans in the United Kingdom. Born in Gateshead, Carroll began to make waves with his Boyd club in the Championship, and he carried that form into life in the Premier League. Following 11 goals in just 19 games for the Magpies, Liverpool came in with a bid that made Carroll one of the most expensive centre-forwards on the planet. The 6-foot-4-inch target man went on to score only 11 goals for Liverpool, which was followed by seven injury-plagued seasons at West Ham United. And finally, a return to his Boyd club in 2019, where he is now, narrowly, the oldest player at the club. Sheffield United. Phil Jagielka, Everton. The oldest outfield player in the Premier League, Phil Jagielka, is 38 years old, and he made his professional debut more than 20 years ago. Jagielka has played close to 700 games over the course of two decades, but only for two clubs, Sheffield United and Everton. A favourite of Neil Warnock's, who even utilised him as a surprisingly gifted emergency goalkeeper, Jagielka was the Blades' best player for a very long time, and it seemed surprising at the time that they were able to hang on to him for quite as long as they did. In 2007 though, Jagielka joined Everton, where he was 10 years ago, and where he went on to play 385 games. Following 11 scenes at Goodison Park, Jagielka returned to Bramall Lane in 2019, where he has made sporadic appearances under Chris Wilder. Southampton, Shane Long, Reading. It may seem like a long time ago now, but rewind a decade, and Shane Long was actually one of the most prolific goalscorers in all of English football, with Reading in the Championship. The pacey Irishman bagged 25 goals in 52 games in his final season with the Royals, securing a five to six million pound Premier League return with West Bromwich Albion. Long subsequently joined Hull City for seven million pounds before joining current club Southampton for 12 million pounds after just six months in East Yorkshire. Age 34, Long is now the oldest player at St. Mary's. Tottenham Hotspur, Hugo Lloris, Leon. A brilliant signing by Tottenham back in 2012 for just 10 million euros, even with a potential 5 million euros in add-ons, Lloris has gone on to play close to 350 games across nine seasons in North London, and he is still their captain and number one now. The three-time league and goalkeeper of the year was already France's number one 10 years ago during what would prove to be his penultimate season in France. Loris is still France's number one now, having won the World Cup with Le Bleu in 2018, and he will soon overtake Thierry Henry to become the country's second most capped footballer of all time, behind Lilian Tora. West Bromwich Albion Andy Lonergan Preston North End Branislav Ivanovic has been absolutely robbed here, given that he is the third oldest player to make a Premier League appearance this season, soon to turn 37. Ivanovic was obviously at Chelsea a decade ago, but he is no longer the oldest player on the books at West Bromwich Albion, since goalkeeper Andy Lonergan was snapped up by Sam Allardyce's new side earlier this month. Lonergan is already 37 and will play second or third fiddle to Sam Johnston and most likely David Button, a role he has become very used to in recent years. In fact, a quick look at Andy Lonergan's recent career stats suggest that he has one of the easiest jobs in the world. West Ham United Lukas Fabianski, Arsenal. At 35 years of age, Polish international Lukas Fabianski is the oldest player at West Ham United. Now in his 14th season in the British game, Fabianski has turned out for Arsenal, Swansea City, and now obviously West Ham. He spent seven years at the Emirates between 2007 and 2014, meaning that is where he was 10 years ago, but he was never the Gunners' number one. 
In fact, across those seven seasons, Fabianski averaged fewer than five league appearances a season, and he was given the pejorative nickname Flappy Hansky at one stage. There has been nothing flappy about Fabianski's hands since leaving Arsenal though, having been excellent for both Swansea and West Ham, and I think he's one of the most consistent goalkeepers in the division. Wolverhampton Wanderers, João Moutinho, Porto. João Moutinho is a man who has played for two of Portugal's big three, in addition to Monaco and Wolves. With 129 caps to his name, Cristiano Ronaldo is the only man to have won more caps for Portugal than Moutinho who made his international debut more than 15 years ago. Now aged 34, Moutinho is the oldest player at Wolverhampton Wanderers, with a couple of years between him and Wolves' next oldest player, a fellow Portuguese international, Rui Patricio. Moutinho joined Wolves in 2018, following the club's promotion to the Premier League, and he has since made an enormous contribution in his more than 120 appearances for the club. A decade ago, Moutinho was playing in his first season for Porto, having joined the club from Sporting Club de Portugal and he went on to spend three scenes with the club before joining Monaco along with James Rodriguez. So that is it for today's video, but thank you to Johannes for the suggestion and to all of you for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for HITC7. Oh, and you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram via the username at HITC7s on both, should you wish to do so.